Well, thanks, Mike, for interviewing us today. My name is David McRae, and our company is RDD Enterprises. Uh, we're based in Redmond, Oregon, and behind me is the LX7-20, the turboprop version of the uh, LX7. And basically, the aircraft is a conversion of the Lancer 4P. So we start with the Lancer 4P, and we disassemble that aircraft. We then install this entirely new wing that you see on the aircraft. We install uh, a new empennage too. The whole back part of the airplane, uh, back part of the fuselage is new as well. All new structures, all new aerodynamics, all new, new flight control systems are all installed. And then we put the airplane back together and it comes standard with a BRS parachute. It comes standard with uh, airbag seat belts for the front seat occupants. Uh, and a whole list of other things, uh, a really awesome instrument panel, avionics package, uh, it's ADS-B compliant, it gives you a WASP navigator, so you can shoot all those GPS approaches and RNAV approaches. And then of course we offer the, uh, the turboprop engine on uh, the Dash 20 model, and uh, it has a 1400 nautical mile range. It can haul four people, 1400 nautical miles, uh, in under five hours. Uh, it goes to 25,000 feet and it cruises at 280 knots true. So it just smokes right along, makes quick work of all those long trips. Uh, and it's pressurized, so it's very comfortable inside to ride in the cabin. At 25,000 feet, you'll have an 8,000 foot cabin altitude. Uh, it also has a really awesome uh, air conditioning system to keep everybody cool in there. Uh, I came in here the other day and it was smoking hot here. And uh, I, it, I felt totally comfortable the entire time. Uh, on the arrival in Oshkosh. So we start with a four, Lancer 4P that is already flying and it already has its airworthiness certificate. So what that enables us to do then is do a major modification to that airplane and return it to service. So there's no kit uh, that we sell and the owner doesn't have to participate in building the airplane because the airplane was already built once as a Lancer 4P. We just rebuild it as an LX7, return it to service. So. Uh, we don't sell a kit, all the work is done inside our building uh, using our fixtures which guarantees a very high degree of accuracy in the parts and in the assembly process and then gives us an airplane that flies extremely safe and extremely straight. It's a very straight flying airplane. We basically save the, the existing Lancer fuselage from the firewall back to what's called the fuselage uh, 180 station. There's a bulkhead there. We save that chunk of the fuselage. That includes the main landing gear and the cabin door, the baggage door, and then we disassemble the rest of the airplane and then we put on everything else is new. It's a new wing. It's a single piece wing with two spars. Uh, it has 180 gallons of fuel capacity in that wing to give us a nice long range. Uh, and then on the tail section, we have all new horizontal stabilizer and elevators, the rudder and vertical. Those are all new parts that we put on. And then the instrument panel itself, is of course all new, all brand new Garmin avionics go in the airplane. Uh, and then the firewall forward package is also new. We have a piston engine option, and that has the Continental TSIO 550E engine, which is 350 horsepower. And that aircraft will cruise an economy cruise at 250 knots true, 17 gallons an hour fuel flow. Uh, if we go to max cruise on that engine, we will do 260 knots true and about 24 gallons an hour. And then we have this Dash 20 that we talked about earlier, 280 knots on 30 gallons an hour. And then we have uh, what we call our Dash 28 model, which has 680 shaft horsepower. Uh, and that one is closer to 300 knots true on 35 gallons an hour. The range on the piston, it's kind of ridiculous. If you fill it full of 180 gallons of fuel, you can literally go 2,400 nautical miles uh, with about 450 pounds in the cabin. Um, so most people don't want to go, you know, that far. So they'll leave off a little bit of fuel and put some more weight in the cabin. So with the piston, you can fill it up with weight, uh, 950 pounds and still go 700 nautical miles. To do the conversion, it's a 12 week process for us from the time that we start making the carbon fiber parts like you see for the wing and the tail until we have the airplane ready to fly again is 12 weeks. Um, so we have an order book and if we ordered today, we'd be looking at the end of first quarter 2020 for the delivery of that airplane because we wouldn't be able to start until basically the beginning of the year. Um, so the process would be you 
we identify the donor plane, we drop it off at RDD, and, uh, and then we have a deposit to hold the production slot, and that's a $100,000 deposit. And then when the time comes, we then just start disassembling the airplane, and then there are a few milestone payments along the way as we go through the progress of making the airplane. Uh, but it's, you're absolutely right, the owner does not have to uh, participate in making any parts or doing any of that if he does not want to, if, if they choose to. And let's say she wants to come out and help make an aileron or a rib or something, we are totally open to that, that's cool. And, uh, but that's not necessary. And then we have at the end of the process a five-day transition training course that the owner goes through. The airplane returns to service, goes through the five days of training, so that we make sure the airplane is safe um, and the pilot is safe as well and then they're off to go fly their awesome airplane. So the aircraft comes standard with a whole list of options. You can see those on lx7aircraft.com website but basically the parachute, the DI system, all of the parts that you see on the airplane behind me are standard with one exception of the third display screen in the instrument panel. That's one option uh, and that's a, a $14,000 option to add that third display screen. The aircraft is equipped, like you see here behind me that you've taken the video of, is a $980,000 airplane. And uh, the piston is about $150,000 less than that. So you're, you're just under a million for the 550 shaft horsepower turboprop, and then you're about $150,000 lower than that for the piston engine airplane. You can find us on the web at uh, lx7aircraft.com. Uh, you can also Contact us through email at info at lx7aircraft.com. Uh, you can also call our main number, 541-504-0305, and ask for Dave McRae, and um, we'll hook you up with whatever information you might need.